uh, she was herself of a cancer. I read a story about two days ago, a very painful one, of a person who cured himself, not cured himself, but discovered, discovered that he has cancer. But unfortunately, it was a grid, the fourth way. Uh, the person just realized that he had a problem with the pains in the uh, back, somewhere in the lower back, and was not understanding what was going on. So he went to get the test, and then that was what the information that was given. So at the time he was writing, he was writing as, uh, just to share with people how cancer is now has stolen away his uh, short life, because he had lived, uh, by the time he was writing, he was uh, he's 28 years old. He's 28 years old, started a company that is now flourishing with another friend, he said that he even had about uh, 500K, 500 US dollars, their company, and then he was to marry in, I don't know, two months, uh, and that is it. So he was, for him, he has already given up. And uh, it's no hope for, uh, he's just telling people goodbye. He's telling people goodbye, and like, that is now the way I live my life. So when someone else tells you, me, I fought this thing, and I cured it, and then the best thing is, is saying, I used this method. This one that some, some of us know, some of us are practicing, but with some laxity. Others are even actually, they have started to develop some kind of, uh, what we call it, uh, debates about it. Like, um, this thing can't work, this thing, no, I can't find, can't find answers, uh, I've not seen it prove. This is why I felt it's important to have a person who has gone through this process of fasting to cure a disease, which was then cancer. She was going to tell you all the other details. So I've introduced you to Irene. Here she is, far away from... Going? Yeah, Irene, Irene, you are in a very far land, way from where we are. I'm in Kenya, this side of Africa. It's called Eastern, East Africa. Uh, but we have friends all over. People are... We have a group, it's always in WhatsApp. Uh, we, uh, we do weekly fasting and there's also a monthly fast. So these dry fast. So these groups are the ones that organize it like meetings. Like this one is now organized by a dry fast group. The one that I am uh, like uh, the facilitator. So um, uh, people want to listen to your stories. Tell them what happened maybe from just step by step, so that they understand the background and all the other things. Thank you. I've got a family uh, whose members are not very lucky. Uh, too many of them have died of cancer. So in not uh, uh, suspected times, I wondered, you know, what can it be done uh, about cancer since all this relatives of mine are dying maybe one day i'll get it too so i started i started um to see all the, the therapies offered all the therapies known just in case you know I followed the stories on a Facebook group called the Snake Diet. Uh, I didn't affiliate with anybody really, just got pieces of information here and there. Tried some water fasting, uh, to be honest, just for weight loss. And I was happy because, you know, you lose weight so fast. Nevertheless, it was, to me, it was so hard you know i didn't go over the 48 hours then one day last year on the 5th of april 2021 i had a car crash i almost died in that car crash okay uh i went to um i don't know how it's called in english 
you know when people are almost dying and they send you to this dying ward kind of thing hoping that somehow you know with the medical help you uh, survive uh, I, I, I see you i think i, I see you. Mm. yeah that thing uh i did survive obviously but um after a month that well, i'd been there and i was out of um uh, out of danger they say they told me hey lady we need to tell you something okay you're you know you didn't die in the crash but because they scanned all of my body because of the crash they discovered i had cancer which was a um they suspected it was a gist g i s t which is typical of the gastro tract you know gastroenteric tract they located it near the stomach so uh i was scared i mean scared you know and i'm thinking yeah i'm going to i'm going to fast but it was a bit hard anyway they uh, um i had surgery they removed it and when they did a biopsy on it they said it's metastatic it's um what they call the net cancer n e t and it's metastasis means is all over your body you know I, it, it's not a primary one it's a secondary one you've got more and i'm like oh my god i'm gonna die like everybody else in my family yeah let, let me just explain to people uh, what you mean it's spreading all over it's spreading it starts yeah. from a point and spread uh, yeah. yeah exactly so they said it spread already this is a secondary one spread and we are going to start you on chemotherapy and whatever their therapies you know um so i said you know how long do i have before you start doing this thing and he said well although it's spreading it's not extremely aggressive so uh no rush you got i said i want to go on holiday you know just in case i die i want to go on holiday before and they said yeah you can go on holiday so i rented a place in the middle of nowhere near the sea this was in uh, late may early june last year um i needed to stay away from home because i live with my parents and they're cooking all the time so doing a fasting it wouldn't have been easy to do especially a dry fast and although i knew this is this was not going to be easy at all i was so scared of dying that at least i wanted to give a try to uh, to not only fasting but to prolonged dry fast so i went there and i spent a couple of weeks uh, in this place in the middle of nowhere no television no nothing just nature sea uh, no food no shopping sites nearby walking distance nothing and i said you know i'm going to go for it and i started dry fast hard dry fast um for say 3 4 days i sipped maybe 500 uh, ml half a liter of water and then start again and go for another 3 4 days with no food no water no shower no teeth washing brushing etc and i did this for 2 weeks and in the last days honestly i thought i was going to die anyway but i'm thinking you know in my bed i'm thinking okay if i'm feeling this shitty because i was feeling like shit on honestly 
maybe this cancer is feeling even worse because it's smaller and you know maybe it's working and I felt like dying myself so maybe the cancer was dying too or was already dead you know that yeah. was my life. Um, mm-hmm. and so when I came off my dry fast uh, or you can call it intermittent hard dry fast it lasted four days and then I drank a little water and then four days again hard fast hard dry fast etc for two weeks okay and in July I had my PET scan and it was completely clear I did it again since then so why two PET scans completely cleared and now on the 24th I'm going to have um, a TAC scan done because they said the PET is too aggressive they said if you if you don't have cancer anymore we can't keep doing PET scans on you because we'll we'll give you cancer uh, you know because of the chemicals so this time, instead of a PET scan on the 24th of June, um, I'm going to have a TAC, T-A-C, I don't know if it's in English, it's the same word, a TAC scan, uh, you know, to keep, because I, I have to do follow-ups, of course, for the next five years, for the Italian medical system, I'm considered at risk. So they, they will keep doing follow-ups every six months. And so, um, you know, uh, I'm planning in July, I took five days off from work. So with the two days weekends after and before all in all, there will be nine days off and I'm planning to do another dry fast like the one I did last year. Because quite honestly, this type of fast, it's not easy. It's not for everybody. And, but if you if you got the fear of death, you find the gut to do it. You know what I mean? You're dying, so you might as well try anything. Because I felt really weak. So I think that whereas water fasting can be done while you uh, work. Dry fasting is something that you have to do almost lying in bed because, uh, I mean, we are weak people, you know, people that have cancer are supposedly they're weaker than a healthy person. I think uh, my reaction was so good because I did straight away the dry fast. I didn't go through chemotherapy, radiotherapy, all those things that, yes, can be a help, but at the same time can also uh, kill your own immune system. Uh, And this is maybe why, uh, you know, I got cleared so fast also course i'm not uh, a doctor so i mean this is just my opinion i think for uh, for your body it's easier to get rid of lots of maybe small cancers you know even if it's spread but they are small if you dry fast it's easier to get rid of these cancers of these little small cancers then if you've got a big lump um, which I mean sometimes you can easily remove through surgery but sometimes it's located in maybe vital organs that it's not that easy to remove with surgery so Dry fast, dry fast in that kind of cancer, it, it will pre- probably take a lot of uh, hard dry fast sessions, you know. 
because mine, although it spread, I think there were small ones, then it was easy to get rid of it with just a, a good hard dry fast. And this is my experience. Uh, of course, I mean, I prayed a lot as well, which I'm not saying <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a therapy, but surely uh, have, having faith that whatever you're doing is going to help or is going to work, um is good on on your subconscious mind you know um and it helps on your spirit on i was really happy i was always uh, putting on uh comic um comic films good music you know and I kept repeating, I'm healthy, I'm healthy, I'm healthy. This is my experience. Uh, now, when you are giving the story, there are some things that are um, coming up in my mind. Let me also say there are just opinions that are coming up in my mind. Like now, this accident becomes Sorry, I lost you. you. I lost you. This accident? The accident. The ac yeah. yeah, the accident is like a way of nature. Maybe say God wanted to use a way to find for you what is hiding in your body. Because if it was for some time, this thing would have stayed hiding and spreading and getting loose without you knowing what is going on. You have gotten maybe to a very, very, very advanced stage that by the time you are discovering it's like, okay, so I only have some few days to leave. You see? So it's like a problem. It looked like a big problem, the accident. But for me, I feel like, okay, this, this problem or this accident is used to bring you to your attention, the real killer, the one that is now uh, exactly, yeah. exactly. And um, uh, that, that is also a teaching. It's like uh, sometimes uh, we are always told to be thankful in everything. Oh, Something yeah. Something happens bad to you. Yeah. Yeah. And then, oh, this thing is bad. You start blaming. Yet sometimes that bad is just to get your attention on the real risk that was coming. You see, so, like, like some stories I hear. Somebody uh, wants to travel, and then you, the vehicle you want to use or the airplane you want to use, Somehow some things happen, complications that you remain and you're there frustrated. And then after some few hours or some minutes, the news is broken to you. Everybody in that plane, there's a crash. And yet you remain and you are struggling to get to the plane. So I see this as some, I don't know how I'm going to group it, but it's a good, a good thing that gives you oh, attention, yeah. takes your attention. Yeah, to exactly what is going on. The other thing that I wanted to ask you maybe to get a clarification on, how long had this thing taken? Uh, not long, but um, what stage? Can you say it, uh, the doctor told you it is in? It was it. Was it in uh, the first, second stage? Because that was not very clear. Um, it's, uh, it, do it doesn't say on the papers. It just says, it's all in Italian. So I will send them to you this weekend. So you can um, put them with the video. Um, it's in Italian, but I will try to translate them. Uh, it didn't give a stage. It just said is it was an N E T an et, and it was metastasized. Metas. Yeah. Yeah. Metastasis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Spreading. Yeah. Yeah. This one was about two and a half three centimeters. I don't Good. know if that could be that, that big. What they removed through surgery. But then there, there were other little ones, okay? And mm. it wasn't, as, as far as I can recall, there wasn't written a stage as such. Okay. But um, I will send and, uh, 
the the the, the papers to you and you can uh, have a look yourself okay and um you said particularly this thing was where in your body i was lucky because this one uh, that they removed was in between in the fat tissue in between stomach and pancreas but it didn't touch nor the stomach nor the pancreas so wow. i was lucky you know i was very lucky um, nevertheless it was in a lymph node which mm. means it can very extremely easily spread very quickly wherever because that's where it goes. Uh, and what the doctors feared was uh, that he went to the pancreas already because of my family history had has lots of people that died with pancreatic cancer, which is very aggressive and nobody survived of my family. So that was extremely scary. And uh, I mean, I, I, I want to keep doing dry fasting, at least uh, ha a hard dry fast each year, because the fact that the cancer is gone at the moment, it doesn't mean that it cannot come back if you keep having um, a too leisurely lifestyle, you know, drinking, eating too much smoking and everything. And I must say, I do all of these. I mean, I, I like drinking, I like eating. Sometimes I smoke still. But dry fasting kind of ke keeps me on track. Um, resets me in a way. So, um, this is... Uh, this is it. Now, the, 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 the other thing that I wanted to ask you, during the time you were in, uh, in the fast, where did you get this water from? Sorry? Water that you are drinking after every... You, you, you are able to drink some water. You got some water that you are drinking when yeah. you are in a fast. So I'm wondering, where, do, where, where did you get this water from? Did you cut it from home or you were in a place where you could get this water? Yeah. Just um, just glass bottled water, nothing special. You cut it from home. Yeah, yeah. I bought it in a store. In Italy, okay. uh, bottled water is very very cheap. So, uh, well, did you did you pitch a tent, or you're just in a car, or in a nature plant, some place that is built? Uh, uh, where sorry, exactly? Where? Sorry, why the nature? Sorry, sorry, can you repeat slowly? Because yeah. uh, English is not my first language, so you have to be patient. With okay, let me go step by step. <laughs> sorry. Where Where you are when you are now fasting during the fasting days? Uh, was it in um in a in a building or somewhere just deep in a forest? It uh, was a it was a house, you... a small house. Uh, in nature, not in deep forest, but there were trees around it, very nice, flowery, etc. And I could see the sea, the seaside from this house. And you, um, okay. the, the touristic uh, season in, in south of Italy starts um, end of June, beginning of July. So when I did it, which was end of may um beginning of june there was nobody it was like deserted desert all the shop closed because what i needed was oh i left the car at home i got someone to leave me there with no car because i didn't want to be able to walk too far reaching shops where I could buy stuff to eat, you see, because, uh, because whomever has done a, a dry fast knows there are moments in which you would 
eat like whatever is walking even a cat you you would just you know what i mean sometimes i'm um, at least i i speak for myself yeah. the the hunger yeah. pains and the thirst is so bad that you would you know if you had a shop nearby you would probably go and steal stuff to eat or even buy it. you don't have time to pay cash just eat in the shop you know what i mean so i made myself i forced myself to uh to drive fast uh by uh, making it inconvenient to have food or water nearby but that's my strategy i mean everyone will will develop their own strategy uh, because at home i've got people cooking and even you know the smell of nice cooked food would uh, would make it impossible for me to go on a drive fast for so long so um, you know I did it this way and uh, wow. it worked. Yeah, I got you. I got that strategy. Yeah, because that strategy. The idea is to make yourself a way, just to help your mind know that, okay, now, you know, we are not eating. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> so the, even if you try to tell me, okay, I have to eat. No, 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 no. It's not eating. But, 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 but then you say the total number of days were about 14 days. This was two, two complete weeks. And what are you about four days? You sip a little like that, you drink a little water like that after every four days. The rest of the days dry, no brushing of teeth, no touch again with water or nothing. And you stay there praying because you said something very important. Yeah, I mean, as I said, this is not Being necessary for same. everybody. Yeah. Um, mm. I'm a believer. Um, and so for me, uh, the spiritual part was important. Um, it's not a rule, do what it works for you as long as, uh, you know, it keeps your mind strong and focused on what you're doing. You're saving your life, for God's sake. I mean, you know, you're saving your life. So, yeah. um, there is nothing more important than that. Um, uh, I didn't survive the accident to die of cancer. So I owe to myself to do anything possible, at least that I knew of, to uh, keep surviving and then living a full, happy life in health. One thing that I can say as a lesson from this, from what you have told us today, is that uh, family that people have been dying with uh, pancreatic cancer breaks away from this thing. Oh. It's like uh, fasting help you, and fasting can help everybody else in the entire world uh, to break away from any family. We call them family bloodline cast something that follows a family and fishes a family so somebody can use this also to break from it you don't need to have fear you don't need to have fear if it happens to someone else or somebody else is, is able to you know for me i feel like you are the first person so it it looks as if it's like an accident it sounds as if it's an accident by you discovering that you can break away from this thing because you are the first person from the family, yeah, that breaks away from this uh, cancer thing. And then the other second lesson that comes out from your story is also about uh, there are so many lessons, but there are particular ones that I feel like it's good we repeat or just talk about them as we finish. That part of the doctor, where the doctors now don't even believe we found this thing, it was here, but now thereafter, if you get out from the first, they want to do a lot of tests try to find it again. It's not there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, it sounds funny, but it's a good news because now it's put even on their mind, something can happen. Something can happen. And that's something that can happen well, and be caused to happen through fasting. Honestly, yeah. um, 
when I try to uh, talk to the doctors about what I've done, you know, I mean, quite incredibly, even if dry fasting has shown, I mean, there are, there are scientific, there is scientific evidence that this works. They prefer to say I've been, I've received a miracle. I mean, I'm sure I have, but with a little help, you know, even in the Bible. Yes, um, exactly. There, there are miracles done to people, but they were, they were asked to fast as well. So maybe the two things, but the doctors, even if they are rational, there are scientific people studying, blah, blah, blah. They would prefer saying, oh, lady, you know, you've, uh, you've received a miracle. Instead of saying, yeah, you've, it was the dry fasting working as well, maybe, as your faith, because faith is needed yeah. in many things in life. But maybe it wasn't just faith, it was the dry fast as well, you know? But it- Yeah, you see you... the miracle where no one doubts that this was a miracle, but dry fast help you receive your miracle. It's like prayer and fasting help you receive your miracle. I think yeah. was that. That faith that you had in the fast, the faith you had in your prayer, and the key thing there is just, you did allow your body to correct what was wrong. When you had already believed in this, you, 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 you believed in fasting, then you allowed your body to do the correction. There was a yes. problem. That yes. is a, that's the truth, that's the truth. It's good they are. I don't, want to, I, don't want, mm. I don't want to give the message that if you are not a believer in God or a superior entity, or you don't have faith in something else, dry fasting won't work. Just dry fast, guys, just try it. Just give it a try give it a chance for it to work and do it anyway even with if you've got no faith just just do it i mean cancer kills you're dying you might as well try anything and dry fasting is doable it's not easy sometimes i felt like i was killing myself <laughs> i was going to die anyway but I'm, uh, you can't see very much, but uh, I'm, I'm a big lady. I'm a biggish lady. So I knew I had the fat to fuel my dry fast. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say to some, someone who was underweight, hey, go on a 14 days dry fast. That's crazy. Do you know what I mean? You have to evaluate what kind of body you are, you have. And even if I felt like I was really weak i knew i had the fat on me to keep on going so i did do you know what i mean wow i am so excited you may just not know how this thing is <laughs> is making me feel like flying <laughs> of that, i call it testimony but yeah. what you are bringing the hope you are bringing to the entire globe this is something that people need to hear. And we tell people every now and then, actually for me, a person who has now learned these things for some time, we tell people it is much better you use dry fast because dry fast can also be used to, uh, to prevent, as a preventive measure. You do some little dry fast here and there to keep the disease away. Like the, the, the olden days, we were always saying, you eat, uh, you eat um, an apple a day, keeps the doctor away. So. A fast, some few of them, a little here, a little there, three days, what, as if you are weak, as if you are not what, keeps the diseases away. It is yes. very important we know this, exactly. Dry fast works so well with prevention and also cure. But just becoming lazy, you already know this measure, you know how these things work, and then you are there, you, you are waiting for some big attack from a disease before you get into the fast. It's not wisdom. It's not wisdom. Wisdom you you actually the bible talks about something like uh when a, a person a wise person sees a problem coming he takes an action but this other person who the bible calls foolish will just go into the problem 
That's when you're realizing when it's too hot, like uh, there's a problem here. <laughs> so you don't wait until you get advanced disease, uh, uh, not just cancer, any other, any other, because it's just the, the fasting is just working on almost all the aspects of life, even spiritual, everything about uh, our lives. So we use fasting as early as we are. That's why we like regular fast, regular fast. Don't force yourself, but learn them and start practicing. But I'm so excited about your testimony, Irene. I'm really happy for it. I know people will want also to see the proof. So I uh, hope you'll send the proof. And uh, yes, in conclusion, what do you want to tell the world? Yeah, because so many people are going to watch this, uh, the entire globe, most people are English speaking. And uh, if possible, we're going to make some, uh, some um, translation for other people also to hear this. So uh, maybe your last conclusive, conclusive remarks. What do you tell the entire world? Um, just fast. <laughs> if you've got any problem at all, but especially cancer, don't think twice about it. Um, don't fear it. As human beings, we've done it since the beginning of time. Just fast, dry fast, your cancer away, and look upon um, testimonies of people that have done it. So you keep your faith that it works, and then just give yourself a try. You you will see. The, the results so quickly, even just losing weight, if nothing else, you fit in that dress you haven't been able to since 10 years ago, so quickly, and that if nothing else, you've lost weight, you know what I mean? Um, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> wow. wow. Okay. Thank you. Do it, the one. Yeah. Do it, do it. Thank you, thank you so much, Irene. It's a pleasure. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. More than the time we had agreed on, but thank you, thank you, thank you, and bye. <laughs>